Okay, so uh, that's shoulder justice, and to me that's primary. If I could get that one, I always take it because it's such a beautiful lockdown. And when I get underneath the chin there and start driving, it takes all the fight out of the other guy. Uh, let's do a little bit that we can use. If I can't get my arm in, and if the bottom guy is good, he's going to attach his head to the mat in a way that I can't get my hand underneath it. And if I can't, then the shoulder adjust is done. I can't use that one. i got to do something else. I'm still going to be doing number one. I'm going to be blocking out the guard with my hand near hip. But now I need something else to flatten him out because he can come up, he can bring his shoulder off the mat. So now we're going to use a, a pry bar. A uh, pry bar works when you can't get in real deep. So it's an alternative method of uh, flattening the bottom guy out. So um, I'm doing number one. My knee's on this side. My elbow's on this side. I'm trying to get the shoulder justice here, but I can't. I can't seem to get it. Uh, because he's got good jujitsu. So I'm going to get a little bit of cloth on the near side here. And I can get my hand on the near side. He can't stop that. Let's turn this way a little bit. I can't get my hand under, but I can get the cloth here like this. His shoulder's off the mat, which is no good for me. And I want to flatten it back out, so I'm going to use a pry bar. And it's just like, it is sort of like a pry bar. Like I stick a pry bar underneath his head and turn it over. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab the cloth as deep as I can, which in this case is not going to be super deep. And then I'm going to point my elbow in the direction I want his head to go. Like that. Like that. It's a pry bar. And you can see his shoulder flattens out, his head turns in the other direction. It accomplishes what I need. I'll often use the pry bar to get to a shoulder justice. Because once I get his head uh, facing the other direction, my hand will oftentimes swim right in. So the pry bar is a little more tenuous, but it, it also works. So I'm blocking out the guard with my knee, or I'm blocking out the guard with my hand or I'm blocking out the guard with my hip. Any of those three. I'm trying to get my hand in here, I can't. He's starting to come up on his side. I'm gonna get whatever cloth I can and then point my elbow in the direction I want his head to go. Flat. Still blocking out the guard. Now what can I do? I can slide my hand underneath and then do the shoulder justice. Like that. So pry bar. So that's a great one that you can always go to. Again, I block out the guard with my hand near your hip. Always, while I'm doing the pry bar. I never give up this to go to the pry bar. I'm gonna make sure I'm still blocking out his ability to pull guard. Now I got number two. So again, pry bar, comes up on his side. I'm gonna get whatever cloth I can, and then point with the elbow, like that. Okay. Um, no gi, uh, you may not be able to grab cloth, but it still works, and what I end up doing is I just take my fingers like this, and wrap them over the shoulder like this, only on this side. And then just, with my fingers on the shoulder, I can still turn my elbow, like that. And you can see where my fingers are on his shoulder right here. Works fine, no gi. Works just fine. So even though you don't have cloth to grab, it still works great, no gi. And it's one of the only things that'll turn a guy over really firmly, no gi, when you don't have stuff to grab. Just fingers over the shoulder right here, like that. And then turn your elbow out. And they, they stay hooked pretty well. Then I can slide in and then work the shoulder justice. Okay, let's try that.